What is up, Big Cash Crew? My name is Richie, and I am back on this very Wednesday to give you some awesome reviews on Lisk, Neo, Populous, Eon, Ion, Ethereum, and I'll just touch on Bitcoin. Let's get into it. So let's have a look at Neo. I did send out an alert today. Uh, Neo does look like it's going to be in a little bit of a bullish trend going forward. We have had this channel here on the one hour. Price is pulling up. Uh, we do have these. Let's get rid of that. We do have these uh, management zones to watch out for when that does actually punch up. Um, we did have a little bit of bullish evidence here, uh, however, not quite enough uh, for it to shoot just yet. If we look on the daily, though, uh, we've got a bit of an inverted hammer. Uh, sorry, not an inverted hammer. We've got a hammer um, forming here. Of course, we are on Wednesday. We do need to go through to Sunday. So let's just hold tight and keep an eye on this bad boy. Um, I do think Neo is in for a nice wee spike um very soon what am i doing here there we go let's straighten up this line yeah neo is definitely looking uh pretty good and i'll be watching that like a like a hawk at the moment but that's that's neo let's get into this Lisk is currently looking pretty good on the weekly if you look down here let me just blow this up if you look down here we've had a nice retracement let me get rid of these color easy way um if you have a look at this the fib uh, the 618 has been tested several times along here this current candle is doing that as well um we are looking bullish which is great so um just by the let me put that back just by this arrow here we're still in a bullish phase which is great so another one to keep an eye on moving forward on the four hourly it's not really showing much we've had this big um price price push today and then it's fall back uh, fell back down it's not going into any sort of form or structure at the moment if you have a look at previous structure highs um lower highs rather we're not even near it this was just a bit of a pump today i'll just sit tight on lisk and um, hold on to it a bit and probably monitor the the this bad boy here monitor the weekly flick over to the daily and you want to be seeing um nice bullish evidence that there is just an economic release of some description um lisk has obviously had something either tweeted out or they've released something in it as an article and that's brought in consumer confidence people have brought into the asset um push price up and then of course when price gets pushed up people want to sell out and make profit and buy back in down here which is exactly what we do um so yeah let's just let's just keep an eye on list and we'll see how that goes next up populous <laughs> This is a great little one. I'm glad I discovered this today. It's a very, it's a very new coin. It's been around since November. Um, as you can see down here on the weekly, it's you know we haven't had too much volume apart from these, the first and third candle here. We do look pretty in pretty nice shape on the daily. Um, apart from we, if this keeps up, this um, the shooting stuff. This keeps up, then we will be looking at a potential push to the downside uh, there are no structure lows apart from down here so i probably would be drawing the fibonacci on this particular chart and making sure to monitor uh, the pullback generally we're looking at between the 38.2 and the 50 percent on these altcoins they don't generally do a full retracement like you'll find on bitcoin ethereum like the major uh, the primaries rather this daily chart with you can see back here there's nice consolidation zone then price sort of picked up consolidated a little bit further and then it's really gone up so 
This is just a natural uh, retrace, but it'll come back down. That'll be a nice structural level as well moving forward. So keep an eye on Populous. It's Populous is a P2P invoice finance platform that is globalizing what is currently a localized and limited market sector. So basically what happens is they send out invoices in the finance industry and if, on slow paying invoices and people pick them up, um, send them through to a factory and pay for them basically. Um, it's kind of like a structured business loan behind the scenes where businesses are picking up assets and buying into them through the invoicing system. It's a very, very clever, um, uh, it's a very, very clever business model and it's one that's been around for many, many years in the financial sector. Have a little read through it. It's, it's definitely worth a good, uh, worth a read. The price per coin is not too bad at the moment either. We're looking at about uh, 68, which is really, really good. Uh, as I said, wait for the pullback. I dare say it will pull back. Even if it's just at the 38% mark, you're still going to get it at about 59. So um, I think that's well worth a buy-in because it's something that does replace modern current technology in the world and it does make it accessible worldwide. Whereas at the moment, um, invoice financing is just country to country to country generally. So check that out. Next one is ION. Or EON, whatever, whatever. Let's just call it ION, shall we? EON. EON or ION? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this is looking pretty damn good. On the weekly, we've had a beautiful retrace down here. We're at the 30. 38.2% mark. We have pushed down to the uh, 0.50, which is great. On the four hour, we are seeing this triangle. Now, this is not a symmetrical triangle, as you can tell, because one side shorter than the other. However, this midline is acting as great support and resistance. So I'm keeping an eye on this. If price does bounce off this tomorrow, then we would be looking at a breakout of that particular uh, channel to the upside or if it pushes down the channel will be broken below and we want to be seeing price Breaking and closing below this point here um, Oops, sorry about that. There we go breaking and closing below this point or we want to see price Closing outside of this zone Actually put it up. Oh. My fingers aren't computing with my brain right now or if price is to break up, we want to see it break out of this channel and we def definitely want to see price break this structure high here and close above it. That would indicate that we're going into an upward trend. It'd be a very good buy opportunity. On the one hour, this is what we're going to be into. Uh, sorry, the two hour, this is what we're primarily be entering on. So as you can see, midline, this is a symmetrical triangle. The midline is absolutely perfect. We've got retest, 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 broke through, come back, retested again, broke through, has come back, come back down, and we're retesting it currently. So if my calculations are right and we are looking at a bullish trend, then we definitely want to be seeing price break above this and closing. So we want to close above that line, and then we know that we're in a bullish trend. Then we want to be pulling back, pulling back to that structure line of the triangle and then pushing back on out. Now, this move can happen very, very quickly. Uh, well, of course, it's on a four hour, but so it's going to take a little bit of time. But what, what I mean by quickly is you can just see a bit of a consolidation around that line and then push back up. So if it does push up, then we are looking at this zone, this particular zone here, which is, let's just get a figure on that. There we go. Uh, which is uh, 64. So basically we're at 47 right now. We'll be looking at about 64 to um, as a profit point, which is pretty good odds. Um, that is Eon or Ion, whatever it is. Next up, actually, I'm going to pop to Bitcoin just quickly because I did mention this in a number of previous episodes. That 
10,000 plays a significant role in this currency. Now, there's a lot of panic going out there with people that do have Bitcoin, but if you want to have a look at this, ladies and gentlemen, this is just classic retrace. This happens in the markets every day. It's nothing to be scared of. Look at that. It's a perfect retrace that we're going on right, right now. So if you have a look at that, uh, that long-term trend line that I've got here, which I will change to a yellow line just so we are consistent and everyone can start picking up on that. So long-term trend lines are yellow. Let me get rid of this fib quickly so I can just do a quick explainer. Long-term trend line is, um, is yellow. As you can see, we've got one, two, and the third test. You can see prices basically, oh, let's go that way and go again. Prices hopefully turning around on this line as we speak. Um, and if price does, and it does continue, and this is the end of the retrace, it doesn't dip any, down any further, then we could be looking at a nice move back up um, up and above these levels. So I've put the um, the lines in here, which are your management zones. So you can draw your management zones in there. Um, take a pause this video and do what you need to do. Do that, put your management zones in because price isn't gonna turn on a dime on that particular line. It will go into that zone as we all know. So price does pull back up here. Then as you can see, we're, we're at the 61% uh, mark. 61.8% uh, mark on the FIB. If price does pull up here, then the first area that we want to be looking at is this area, this level here, which is 12, 12, uh, 12,843 to be exact. The second area we want to be looking at is 15.2. The third is 17.7. And then we're looking at 19.6. Now I know that's a probably a bit hard for everyone to comprehend right now because of the loss that this particular currency has taken. However, this is a natural progression of an asset. Assets retrace. The bigger the retrace, the more solid the foundation that it has. If it turns on a dime on the 61.8% mark, then that is gravy in my books. Um, so these are the levels. As I said, pause the chart, uh, pause the video, Punch these in and uh, watch watch price action around these points as we grow up, go up, grow up, go up. Um, it'll be very, very interesting. Right, so we've got Ethereum. Ethereum is currently in a bearish week. Uh, however, we are still on an uptrend and I can still see that there is still divergence there. So that is good. On Ethereum, we also have the symmetrical triangle, which is fantastic. The midline is reacting and holding as support and resistance at the same time, which is awesome. Um, we're currently seeing, we've seen, had a pullback off of the, the top of the symmetrical triangle. We've got structure, uh, structure lower high here. We've come down, we're on the midline, and I do expect this to push back up. Um, the move on Ethereum is looking pretty damn good. What have we got? We've come down to the 50% mark, which is great. If we look on the four hourly, which is the time frame that we want to enter on, right now, the, oh, sorry, this is a um, tweet that I sent out before. Let's see if I've still got that in there. Uh, I had a pretty good day on the old Twitter today, uh, putting out a lot of uh, few alerts. Uh, so yeah, that's that one there. If we go back to Ethereum, we had this engulfing candle. Pretty natural after an engulfing. Sometimes it'll shoot, sometimes it'll meander and then go. Um, nevertheless, we are still in an up to up, upwards trend, which is great. Nice signals down the bottom, nice reversal patterns. You can see where the channel and the management zone are 100% correct. That's all that matters to me. This is literally the, all that matters to me is that that candle, that those candles are reacting off of the channel line and the management zone. It's kind of like a double confirmation. Anyway, that is Ethereum. It's a long trade. Hold on to it and just let it run until you're comfortable up and up until the upper end of this channel. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I will catch you tomorrow. Actually, that's a live Friday. 
Have a great week. Ciao.